It's been over 25 years. And uh, I was out here in the mid 90s when the track was open. And to come out here and to make a pass like this, I mean, it brought back memories and also tears. I felt happy and sad at the same time. And the reason why I felt happy is because I was out here to be able to do this. And the reason why I felt sad is because Big Willie and Tomiko weren't standing here while we were doing what we're doing today. We came out when we were street racing and Willie was out there on the streets and we heard about a place that they street raced and they were talking about it and they said, you need to go to the street. We came down here and they were racing here. And we were like, no way, there's no way this even existed. We didn't, nobody even knew about it and it was great. We had a lot of fun. And we helped Willie and we still do it, but Willie was a one man show and he got it done. And that's what's missing in this whole picture. I enjoyed what he was doing and what he was doing for the people, and I wanted to help him do that. Back in those days, we could go out for, on the streets, and we were out for two to three hours at a time, racing. Man would come in, we'd see the lights coming, we'd just get in our cars and drive away and go home. Just for an example of one of the little things I did, when the police would come in and they'd block off the streets and stuff like that, they'd come up and ask for your driver's license and your ID. Not being a wise guy, I'd look over to the farthest officer over there and say, that officer over there has got it. And they'd turn around and walk away. I never got a ticket. So we're actually, we're on Terminal Island right now at the raceway site. We're standing directly on the raceway. That's where our starting line was. This is right where it happened. This is where it all took place, right here. The biggest thing about Willie's stuff is a lot of it was a secret. He had a nine-second Daytona, and it flew. It was, a, in, at the time, not normal to have a nine-second car in the 70s. And they raced the car around the country. So that's when Tomiko was driving it. They were very close, yes. That's what, that was what brought a lot of the women into the club with us, is because they could participate with us. There was no discrimination. To be honest with you, Tomiko was almost as good as Willie was, if not better. She had eye coordination better. They raced always together. They, they really never raced, they just put it on a show. We're making new history. I, when I was turning around down there, I just started choking up a little bit, like I said, because I could see Big Willie standing out here right now. And I could see him, and he was larger than life, that guy, you know? It'd be like if he's out here promoting that we're gonna open up next week, you know? And that would have been awesome to see Big Willie and Tomiko standing out here, you know? I know he is here. He's here. Once in the morning, one more time I'll teach you every note of this song so you can sing.